Today we salute the brave men and women who have served our country. A ceremony and parade downtown honored our veterans this morning. Houston is home to more than 250,000 veterans, the second largest population in the country. Houston is also one of the most diverse cities in America. Important to remember as we share this next story about a veteran honored. Our Melissa Correa is live in the East End with more on Staff Sergeant Macario Garcia. Mel? Hey there, Mia. Yeah, this massive mural unveiled today on Veterans Day. Marcario Garcia was the first Mexican immigrant to receive the highest U.S. Medal of or military decoration, rather the Medal of Honor. He landed in France on D-Day and later saved his platoon by taking down enemy weapons and capturing enemy soldiers. The hero also received a bronze star and a purple heart. Garcia enlisted in the army after his family moved to Sugarland, where they worked in cotton fields. When Marcario Garcia returned home to Texas after World War II, he experienced discrimination. So this mural in a predominantly Latino part of Houston is a big deal to people who live here in the East End. You know, these trailblazers had to endure a lot of discrimination. The 1940s was a tough time. Many Hispanic Americans served in, all, in our armed forces and were never recognized for their heroism. He was, he was one that his heroism was so undeniable that you couldn't not recognize him. And it opened the door in the minds of a lot of people to create a culture of inclusiveness. So I think it's just fitting to have it here in Houston, one of the most diverse cities in the country. Margario Garcia's family was part of today's fanfare here outside Houston Fire Station number 20 along Staff Sergeant Margario Garcia Drive, which was renamed in his honor decades ago. There is a plaque on the corner here at uh, Garcia Drive and Navigation Boulevard, but the hope is all of these drivers, Len and Mia, will take the time to research and learn a little bit more about this hero. And as I toss it back to you, you know, he landed in Norman D on D-Day come to find with my grandfather mm. who also served in the army. And so to see a guy who looked just like my papo honored on a wall, massive like this is a big deal to me too. Yeah, we salute your papo and we salute Sergeant Macario Garcia. Thank you, Mel. That's a nice part of the story there, Mel. Thank you so much.